Hey guys, welcome to another Hostinger Academy tutorial. My name is Kastutis and today we will be learning how to install WordPress. So let's get right to it. When learning WordPress, your first step is often figuring out how to install it. There are multiple ways to do that and this video will cover a few. So check out the video timestamps in the description below to find out exactly what you're looking for. This video will be split into two main sections. First will be installing WordPress on Hostinger and the second will be installing WordPress locally, either it be PC or a Mac that you're running. The main advantage of installing WordPress on Hostinger is that it is super simple and only takes a couple of clicks. On the other hand, installing WordPress locally is a great way to try and build a website without committing to a hosting plan or a domain name. While a local WordPress website will only be accessible to you, transferring it to a host is not at all a complicated process once you like it to become live. You can even use our promo code HE10 to get an amazing discount on Hostinger. Once you have your hosting plan set up, you can use HPanel's amazing auto-installer feature to have WordPress running in no time. Using the search feature is the fastest way to find the auto-installer, which is located under the website section. Here, WordPress is the most popular pick, so all you have to do is click select under it. Lastly, simply fill out the configuration form with your preferred passwords. As you can see, there are some additional technical options that you can change, such as the WordPress version or the update policy. However, if you're just starting out, the default settings are more than okay to get you going. To install WordPress on PC, we'll be using a software called WAMP, you'll find the link to which in the description below. The first choice you need to make is selecting whether you would like to download the 64 or 32 bit version. You can check what system type your computer is running by going to Control Panel, System and Security, System. When installing WAMP, the only configuration that you need to make is to choose the default browser and text editor for the server to use. Now, once the software is installed and ready to go, which is indicated by the green icon in your taskbar, let's set up our database by launching phpMyAdmin. In the login screen, let's enter root as our username and let's leave the password blank. Now let's create a new database, which I will name WordPress. Awesome! Now the local server is prepared to have WordPress installed. If you have not done so already, now is the time to download WordPress files. You can do so by visiting the download link in the description. Once the RHI file is downloaded, make sure to extract it in a folder which I will be naming test site. Now let's move this folder to a special local server directory which is located in the main drive which is WAMP64 and www. Once this is done, let's open our browser and type out this address in the URL bar. http colon forward slash forward slash localhost forward slash test site. If you gave your WordPress folder a name which is other than test site, make sure to change the URL accordingly. Now let's fill in the database details that we have used previously and continue with all the other WordPress setup steps. Congratulations, you have successfully installed WordPress on your PC. To install WordPress on a Mac, we'll be using a software called MAMP, so check out the description below to find the necessary download link for that. Now the choice here is whether you are running an Apple Silicon or an Intel based chip. My MacBook has an M1 processor, so I will be choosing this version. The installation process itself is pretty straightforward. Once it's done, let's launch the program's preferences window and enter 80 in the Apache port section to make accessing the local site a bit easier. Here you can also check which directory your website files will be stored in. Keep this in mind as it will be important later. Now clicking on the web start button will open the MAMP application window in your browser. From here let's go to tools and open up phpMyAdmin. Let's create a new database which I will name WordPress. Make sure to select utf8 underscore general underscore ci in the section next to it. Great, the database is ready. The next step is preparing your WordPress files. If you have not done so already, visit the link in the description to download WordPress. Once you download the archive, extract it and place it in your local server's root directory, which we noted previously. Lastly, to access WordPress installation wizard, simply open up your browser and type localhost in the URL bar. 
After you select your preferred language, there will be a welcome message. Here you can simply click let's go. Now let's enter our database connection details. Our database name was set to WordPress. For the username and password, simply use root and the database host will be localhost. Now just go through with the rest of the WordPress installation steps and you will successfully launch your local WordPress website. As you can see, learning how to install WordPress is not at all a complicated process. Let me know what kind of website you're working on in the comments down below. If you found this video helpful, leaving a like will help others find it. And of course, stay subscribed for more amazing video tutorials like this one in the future. Until then, I wish you the best of luck in your online journey.